Hey, what's up your friends and welcome back to my channel Aqua Spoiler. So today's on the video we're gonna do the review about the Radeon G5 G Freezer which I bought uh, maybe two months ago I think. I secretly uh, use them for my freight tank that's over there for about uh, a month and a half so I'm very uh, ready to make a review about uh, a sheet of paper. So on this video we'll do the unboxing. I don't know why we'll do it. We're gonna do the assemble. I don't know why, but we'll do it. And we're gonna do the, the power reading to see how much uh, do we lose, uh, how much it spread the spectrum, if it does like uh, remove the disco effect, because uh, honestly, it's uh, 2020. But disco, I love you, but you have to get out of the floor. Oh, that was good. Oh. Huh. So this diffuser is for the XR15, but if you have the XR30, uh, it's the exact same thing, just a little bit longer, and that's pretty much it. So I use uh, this one on my uh, frag tank that's over there. I never opened this one. So let's open, let's do an unboxing of a diffuser. Woo! Wait. Okay. <laughs> Let's care for a moment. Um, that was not planned, but basically it's uh, just a sheet of paper. You see me, you don't see me, you see me, you don't see me. So yeah, it's a pretty simple, uh, I don't know how to say sheet of paper. I don't know how to pronounce it, sorry, I'm French Canadian, uh, deal with that. So you basically just, uh, let's do the assemble. It's basically like that, pretty much it. So there's like a little 3D extrusion, but there to just uh, maintain the, the the paper in place and uh, now let's put it in the in the light all right so inside of the light there is a uh, four magnet that are inside of it of uh, the, the cover and you can see probably on this there's a magnet on each corner of these so basically you put the paper or whatever the gel whatever it is uh, I don't know the name exactly so let's just pretend that was hanging in on the ceiling and you put it like that and that's it that's the assemble thank you for watching the video i will see you in the next one bye bye but wait there's more it's like when you are on the toilet and you stand up and you're like oh wait there's more uh let's do the disco effect power reading let's go all right so this is my aquarium this is my like laboratory aquarium where I test a product, any kind of product, uh, to see if uh, they work or not. And uh, yeah, so I have like the two models because Ecotech Marine, they, they released the Radeon G5 uh, in two or version. So I have the blue here, as you can see, there's like a blue tint on the, the side. And I have the, the pro version. So I'll make a comparison between each of them because uh, it might vary since uh, this one is like mostly blue. Uh, you pull, we won't probably notice uh, that much of a difference compared to the pro where it is like, a, it sh we should see like a bigger difference. And as you can see, my lighting right now, I have uh, the, the T5. And so I'm not going to use that, of course, for, for the comparison. And I have my Castle uh, A260WE, which is the light I'm using for this aquarium. Uh, I'm not using the, my Pro version because I want to save the, the life of the LED because I want to make some data eventually. Uh, even if it's uh, an upgrade from this light. So I will change my lighting, but I will keep the Castle A260WE because they are the point of reference for the disco effect, it's like how much they, they blend the, the color together. Um, they're the, the reference for that. So I will just make a comparison with that light to see how much they perform with the Radeon G5 Pro and Blue and the diffuser. So the first visual that I'm showing you is the light on the table with a rectangular object in the front of the light to just understand a little bit better the blending difference between each one of them. So this is the Kessel A360WE Tuna Blue for reference. They are known for their shimmers and the color blending. Now here the Radeon G5 Pro in comparison without the diffuser. The color blending is not that pleasing with those kind of like a step of color. Now when you add the diffuser the color is much more blended and this is very good. Here the Radeon G5 Blue in comparison. Since it have mostly blue LED, the effect is less noticeable. But those step later light effects are very still present and it's a little bit annoying to my eyes. And here with the diffuser, the color is well blended and those steps are much more blurry. 
Now this was made on my wall before just a demonstration to just easily uh, notice those uh, problem of color blending. But let's switch to a real situation with my laboratory aquarium. This visual is with the Kessel A360WE with a very strong caustic effect. Let's be honest, on the video it's a little bit annoying and especially when you do macro videography. Now let's switch to the Radeon G5 Pro with no diffuser. The level of shimmer is really great, however, if you look closely, not with your smartphone, there is some kind of pixelization effect going on. And this is a step I was talking about just a little bit earlier. Now with the diffuser, to me the visual you currently see is my favorite combination. It's a very gentle shimmer going on, soft, not distracting, very very pleasing to my eyes. Now with the Radeon G5 Blue, it's harder to notice anything directly on the coals, but again, you can feel those uh, light step effect that's going on. Now this is the result after when you add the diffuser. It's much more muted and have a way better blend color. Okay, so now I'm switching to the full view tank. So this is the castle with their very strong uh, shimmer effect. Now with the Radeon G5 Pro, Radeon G5 Pro with the diffuser, Radeon G5 Blue, Radeon G5 Blue with the diffuser. Now for those who have a white sand in their reef aquarium, let me show you why the blending color is so much important. Here's the Kessel A36WE with their near perfect blending but distracting shimmer on the video. Now here the Radeon G5 Pro. Yes, it's a very annoying. You see those little step of color? It distracts my eyes all the time. And in person, it's much worse. It's hard to record correctly on camera uh, the feeling that it projects to our eyes, but it's, it's not a pleasing look. But here now with the diffuser attached to the light, it's almost as good as the Kessel. Very pleasing blending. And for the Radeon G5 Blue, again, we see those steps that are distracting your eyes. And here with the diffuser. To my eyes, this is nearly perfect blending. It almost has like this kind of like a T5 effect. So now that you have seen the difference of the shimmers, uh, or the classic we may say, uh, there is something that we don't really talk about, and I'm not quite sure why we don't say, uh, uh, we don't talk about that. There's like two way to control, two way, two way to control this. So you have the light, first of all, that will create the shimmer. So the more the, you have like a spotlight, the more the you will see like the caustic inside of your water. And if you have like a more uh, spread uh, of light, the less shimmer you will get. But there's a second way to uh, control this. It's not only uh, the light, but it's also the, the surface agitation of your water. So in my case, I have a pump that is oriented to the surface of the water. So like this, I have more agitation, I have more gas exchange also. And uh, I have to admit, I may have like a little bit too much uh, shimmer uh, with uh, my, this is the castle that you see right now. But uh, with the Radeon, it's way more diffuse and I, I like a little bit more. So let's say yeah, you're not really satisfied with the shimmer that you get with your Radeon, like maybe it's like too much. Well, if you put the diffuser, it will just literally diffuse uh, the shimmer that you have in your gram. On the contrary, if you find you don't have enough of the, the, the shimmer on your aquarium and you want absolutely want the diffuser on that, you can have like a pump just oriented to the surface and you will get just more shimmers. So this is an easy way to control the, the shimmer uh, to your liking because it's not everybody that really like the shimmers. So it's like a personal preference basically. All right, so now that we have seen what this uh, paper does to our tank visually, there is an important aspect to, uh, to figure out is how much light it cut. So let me show you the result that I got. So I did my test into an aquarium without water and I measured a par for the pro. I did multiple readings at different intensity to see if there's any difference in the penetration, excuse my French, of, of the light. So from 122 to 110 at 100% intensity to 67 to 62 at 50 percent and 34 to 31 power at 25 percent so we are speaking about roughly only 9 percent less of power with the ecotech radian g5 pro now for the blue version we have 113 to 105 at 100 percent intensity 64 to 59 
at 50% intensity, 33 to 31 power at 25%. So for the blue version, we are talking about 6 to 7% loss only, which I find very low in a good way. So the result of this uh, diffuser uh, is really astonishing, especially when you consider the, from the last generation, the generation 4 of the Radeon, the uh, diffuser, it costs around 20%-ish uh, of power. And the company said like 25, but mostly all the people said like mostly around 20% each. So this is like half of that. For 9 to 6 bar uh, loss, honestly, uh, who cares? You just should switch the intensity. That's pretty much it. You resolve the problem. So that accessory is like, it, it's so, so uh, good. So I think the diffuser is so good that it should have been integrated into the light. Um, but uh, yeah, we all know how uh, people make money. This is a business after all, so you make money a little bit with accessories. Uh, they, they're, they're smart, uh, like any other business, honestly. So uh, honestly, buy this. Uh, the only reason I can see you shouldn't buy that thing is uh, if you really don't care, why are you watching this video, honestly? And the other reason is if you have like a bar, bare bottom on the aquarium and uh, you don't have any sand, something like that, and especially if you have like your black, uh, the bottom is black, you won't see uh, that much honestly uh, on the coals because the coals like uh, always have like structure, have like colors and stuff like that. Uh, it's harder to to notice those are like a step uh, stuff. So the step that you saw is, is really uh, when you have white sun, like it, it pop crazy in your, into your eyes. It's really distracting. So because that thing diffuses the light, uh, I think it what it do it will also like it bounce the light on the the glass. So that's another uh, beneficial thing. The more diffuse something is, the more bounce you will see, and the more uh, the the coals will receive energy from the side, a little bit from the bottom, etc., etc. Uh, but let's be honest: for any product, there's always some flaw. So what are the flaw for this? Um, I will say that the the magnet uh, inside, more inside of the light, there are slightly, slightly a little bit uh, too tiny. Uh, but honestly, it does the job. It's just I wish it was just slightly better, so it snap really strong. Um, other than that, honestly, uh, if you broke uh, the that sheet of paper, I think you can easily replace. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's <laughs> it's a sheet of paper, so uh, it's it costs way more than the, when you go to the store buy the, the that gel thing. Uh, so the price is a uh, is a little bit high, of course. But you're probably used to it because uh, on the refractorium we all spend so much money. So yeah, we are just used to spend so much money. Uh, other than that, honestly, it's a really good accessories for your light. So personally for me, I will put this on every radiant light that I will have, especially because I'm doing videography. So uh, you don't want like the eyes be distracted from something else than the coals. And if you think this video was worth it for you, uh, give me a like, uh, especially because I'm a small YouTuber. Um, and uh, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.